Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. Yes, the witch is back. I am back from my big vacation in the UK in Amsterdam. Um, we arrived back Friday. Today is Sunday. I was a little tired. I went for an afternoon nap Friday and woke up 12 hours later. Same as thing. Our son woke us up thinking 12 hours was a long nap. <laughs> um, but yes, it was extremely exhausting. 32 hours of travelling time to get home. Should have been 30, but we were delayed in Dubai for two hours. So there you have it. That's life when you live in Australia and you want to go to the Northern Hemisphere. I think I am getting a little too old to do such long, big trips. I found it physically exhausting and a little mentally exhausting. But I'll talk about my trip in another video. Today's video is because when I arrived home, I had happy mail. When I left the night before I got happy mail, I did post a picture but didn't do a video. And I've got home to happy mail and I wanted to share it with you. I also have one finished object that I've managed to do. So let's get started. When I left the night before, um, Reeves brought home mail and it was happy mail from Raylene, a loyal subscriber in Melbourne. Hi Raylene and thank you so much. It was greatly appreciated. I did unpack it and take a photo and share it with everyone, but I wanted to actually share the yarn with you. So it was mill ends from Spotlight. There are two bags, 400 grams, resulting in eight balls. It says blended fibers, so I can't really tell you what blend it is, but that's the color. Now it's orange into browns into blacks with some glitter. I don't know if you can see that in this light. Um, it's very soft. It is lovely soft yarn. It may look red on camera, but it's definitely orange and I love the colorway. Um, she also included some tea bags by Twinings, Australian Afternoon and English Breakfast, which I came to be a bit addicted to in the UK. So that was really nice. There was also a bag of sweet treats, chocolates, which I did actually put in the fridge, but they've disappeared. Things, um, Reeves looked after the dog while we were away and he said, after walking the dog each day, he felt he deserved a reward of a chocolate and he ate them. He did say he'd replace them if I wanted him to, but no, he was right. He was really looking after Saxon, um, which proved to be a bit difficult with our new neighbors. I won't go into that, but we seem to always get good neighbours one side and not so good the other. Anyway, this yarn, it is beautiful and I can't make up my mind what project I would use it for, whether a lap, glam, lap gam, a cowl and hat or maybe a shawl because it has got this beautiful glitter and soft feel to it. So if you want to leave a comment in the description below this video and let me know what you think I should make with this yarn because I really do like it and I'd like to use all of it in a, one particular project. So that was my happy mail before I left. Now Reeves FaceTime a lot and he told me I had received happy mail and that um, it was waiting for me when I got home. I did unpack it. It was in this. It's a bit noisy and it was from my friend Janice and loyal subscriber in Victoria who I met last year when I went on holidays she has sent me a welcome home gift and it was all in this calico bag I've taken it out because I wanted to have a look and I thought I'd share with you what she sent me so first of all there is this Bella baby cotton yarn four ply I need glasses they're not on my head um, 50 gram balls 100% cotton 3.25 millimeter knitting needles needles and it's made in China there are no color names but this beautiful lime green there's two of those and two of those in cream and it is beautiful soft cotton for a baby I really do like that and I've never tried it so that was the first one. Won't be a moment. She included some little gifts with the yarn. There is more yarn. She sent me some Dolan Bear 9mm black eyes. I find these size really hard to get here. So they are greatly appreciated. She sent me an Addy 4mm ergonomic crochet hook to try. And I am queen to try that. 
because as I get hold of my fingers do hurt and yeah I have not seen those here she sent me a knitting needle gauge and ruler I have a couple of these but they're always handy I'm whenever I'm looking for one I can't find the ones I've got now the the funny thing was she um, included some seeds now Reeves doesn't like eggplant or aubergine whatever you call them he really does not like it and he said she sent you eggplant seeds I hope you're not going to grow them well I do plan to grow them because I love eggplant and so does thing but they weren't the eggplant the fruit they are called poached eggs plant they are beautiful flowers and once I get my energy level back I plan to um, grow these check out when I can grow them in my area and see what they look like because they do look beautiful in there and the one thing about traveling was I really got into the floral arrangements and the flowers in the UK because of what they can grow due to the climate the other thing she wrapped up in this cardboard was some ergonomic knitting needles for me to try I have never seen these these are four millimeter they are metal they're very square along the, the shaft of the needle I've been using circulars for a while but I do like straight needles for little projects so I'm planning to give those a try and see what I think of those my throat is still a little scratchy if you watch previous videos I did actually get quite sick but it is scratchy and I may have to pause it to take a drink now one of the other yarns she sent is thoroughbred eight ply by panda I've never seen this yarn it, um, it doesn't have a colorway they're 270 meters in this beautiful peach color in this ball so that's another one she sent me two balls so this is beautiful and soft yarn of knitting yarn 100% acrylic made in China and this is eight ply and it's called maroon soft is the color and that's a great color there are two of those I've had this yarn and this particular color before and I do love it ferris wheel and it's called pink marmalade and this is a four weight yarn isn't that a great color combination I've made a beanies out of it before I don't know what I'll make with this one but um, this is, what does it say? See, the print's getting small now for me. A five millimeter hook and a five, 6.5, 4.5 millimeter knitting needle. But yeah, it is beautiful soft yarn. And what really amazes me is I always thought it had wool in it, but it's not. It's 100% acrylic. They have that one. We have... A glitter yarn by Birch and it is maker glitter yarn 94% acrylic 6% glitter polyester 480 meters in 150 gram ball there's no real colorway or knitting needle or hook size on the label or the ball band but that is the color combination and that is beautiful blues and beiges and grays it's really a lovely combination and I do like that and that is soft she's got a real knack for picking soft yarn one I've never tried she sent me is color theory by lion brand two of wands color theory 100% acrylic um, 246 yards or 225 meters a four weight a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle or a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and the color stone wash she has sent me two of color theory in the color stone wash that is gorgeous and it is soft too beautiful soft yarns janice has sent me look she went all out and janice i really appreciate it you are crazy for sending me so much stuff but it is appreciated and i love this i've been thinking what i can use the 100% acrylic for crochet for cancer because I can't use wool um, in any of those projects they only want acrylic but this yarn will come in definitely handy for my charity knits so my finished object well when I was away I thought I'd do more crafting than I did uh, mainly because you're having fun and looking around and seeing different things but I did do a bit of crafting but one thing I did do was keep up with 
Laura, Mad Meme is farming and crochet. Bod had a palooza. I made two beanies. I posted a video recently. You can watch that. There are pictures in that of the two I made and donated to the local charity in Scotland because they were um, gathering winter stuff for the colder weather that's coming. I didn't make the next one, which was a baby hat, but I did make the last one for this week that's just gone. Uh, basically because she tried twice to pull out a number and we'd already made that and the third time she pulled out my name and number six so third time lucky it was my pick and I actually just picked a number and it's turned out to be an unusual hat so here it is I have made it it is the bag o' day pixie hat now this is actually for a child but this is the smallest head I have got and I made the pom-poms and everything last night it was really quick and easy to make I think the longest part was making the pom-poms but yeah I really like it it's not really done justice on this head but I did want to show you and it's just so easy and cute and um, yeah I made it in Hang on a sec. Get the ball there. Karen cakes now that was like a partial ball that came in a previous Happy Mail from Janice. She's always sending me yarn. This is 80% acrylic and 20% wool. I'll donate that to a different charity. But it's in the colorway Cinnamon Swirl. I did color control it to get that color combination the way it is and striping. And there are scraps left over. There are scraps left over from the beanies I made in Scotland. And there are these scraps. And I am using them in a project for my mini make along Scrap September AU. So I hope you're joining in. There's still plenty of time. It's uh, I'll put a link to the video where you can check out the rules. It's pretty easy, pretty basic. You just need to remember to post your pictures using the hashtag Scrap September AU in the Facebook group page or Instagram. And if you don't use social, email me. Won't be a moment. Sorry, I needed to take a drink. My throat's drying out again. So yes, come and join in Scrap September AU. I am using some of my recent scraps from the different projects I've made. And um, hopefully this mini project, scrap project, turns out because I'm doing something a little different. But that's basically it. I have received one box of the yarn I mailed home, which is here. There is another box to come. And I'll share that yarn that I purchased and different things from the UK and Amsterdam with you in another video. I'm still extremely tired and I'm back at work tomorrow. So I'm trying to take it easy today and just sort of gather my energy for work. Because I know when I get back I'll be hitting the ground running. It will be extremely busy. So guys, yes, I had a great trip. It was a little exhausting. It was probably too long. I love catching up with my son. We had a great time. Everything about the trip was pretty good. Uh, some of the accommodation that was booked by my travel agent was questionable, but hey, that's what you get with the unknown. So until next time, take care, stay safe, and make sure you join in my mini make-along for September, Scrap September AU. Bye for now.